Welcome to the channel, I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to withdraw your coins off of Binance to another wallet address. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. I have plenty more Binance tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check those out as well. Let's get into the video. To withdraw your coins off of Binance, simply come up here to where it says Wallet, then select Fiat and Spot from this drop-down menu. Take note that if your coins are in your Futures account, you'll need to internally transfer them from your Futures account into your Spot account in order to make them available for withdrawal. I have a tutorial on how to get that done, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. You'll notice over on the right that each one of these coins has a withdraw button. If you don't see the coin you wish to withdraw straight away, you can search for it in the search bar right here. Alternatively, you can use the withdraw button right up here next to deposit. That will bring you over to this page here. You can also change the coin you wish to withdraw by clicking right here and selecting it from this drop down menu, or you can search for it in the search bar here. Next, you'll need to enter the deposit address of the destination of where you're sending your coins to, and I'll demonstrate that shortly. After that, you'll need to choose the network that you wish to send the coins over. Some networks have smaller fees for transferring your coins. You can choose the network by simply clicking on the network box, and Binance will give you a pop-up window of the available networks, and you can choose a network by simply clicking on it. It's very important to make sure that the network matches on both sides of this transaction, or you could lose your coins forever. So make sure you're sending your coins to an address that supports the network of your choosing. For simplicity, I'll demonstrate by sending some coins to another exchange. If you're a hodler, the best place to send your crypto is to a cold storage wallet such as a Ledger or Trezor, and at the very least to a self-custody hot wallet. So the first thing I want to do is select the coin. I'll go ahead and just send some Ethereum here. Next, I'm going to need my deposit address as well as the network. You'll notice when I click on network, that Binance even gives you a quote of what the fee is going to cost. You can see here on the Ethereum mainnet ERC20, usually the fee is much higher than some of these alternative networks. But once again, we need to make sure that where we're sending the coins supports those networks. So I'll go ahead and drag another exchange into frame here. So I'm going to click on deposit. And then I'll select Ethereum. And you can see right here, that this exchange supports three different networks. We have the ERC-20, BSC, as well as Arbitrum-1. Arbitrum-1 is likely the least in fee, so I'll go ahead and select that as my network. And then I'm going to copy my deposit address by just simply clicking right here. Now I'll move this out of the way. We can see Arbitrum-1 network right here, so I'll go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to paste the address in right here. And Arbitrum 1. Next, I need to choose the amount of Ethereum that I wish to send. You can see that I'm currently set to Spot Wallet, and I can see my available Ethereum balance right here. So I can type in a custom amount, like so, or I could simply click on Max to send the entire balance. Normally, I like to send a small amount first, just to make sure I have everything correct on my first try. If everything goes through, then I'll do a larger withdrawal. So let's go ahead and do a custom amount. And once you have this set up the way that you want it, you just simply come down here, click on Withdraw. Binance will give you a little pop-up window here, asking you to ensure that the address is correct and on the same network. Transactions cannot be cancelled. I've already carefully confirmed the correct network, as well as the correct address for that network. So I'll simply click on Continue. After that, Binance will ask you to verify this transaction. So you'll have to enter in your two-factor authentication code here. If you haven't already set that up, I do have a video on how to set up Google Authenticator, and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. So now I'll put in my Authenticator code here, then I'll request my email verification code by clicking here where it says Get Code. Once those codes are typed in, just simply click on Submit. Now my withdrawal has been submitted and is awaiting approval. Complete. And my coins have arrived on this exchange. And in this particular situation, it took about five minutes. If I come up here to assets, come down to spot wallet. 
Here you can see the Ethereum that I sent over from Binance. And there you have it. That's how you withdraw your coins off of Binance to another wallet address. If you found that helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other Binance tutorials, which I've put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.